Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time come back to this channel, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell icon. So anyway, you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, for the new subscribers, please support this channel by subscribing. It's the only channel you'll get the true information. Remember, we are still talking about the UAE new labor law. Super excited about the changes. New models of work coming into existence. The part-time, the temporary. Changes coming. And why are these changes coming? It's just to enhance the relationship between the employer and the employee. Such that there is a 50-50 win in one or the other. That none of the two is being pressed on the other side. That relationship that we're talking about. Remember, this is only not improving the relationship of the, the relationship between the worker and the employer, but it is also enhancing. It enhancing that ability of people to do other things in one way or the other, handling different types of tasks accordingly to the what we call the agreed period or the agreed period of time. This kind of flexibility in one way or the other. It is to work on what we call projects, either on hourly basis or temporary basis, or even on a permanent basis. But it does not mean these new models we are introduced, there is no permanent contracts or there is no permanent work in UAE. No. It is the permanent full-time work. Is still, is still, the contracts are still being signed, depending on which kind of work you're going to do and which kind of project that you're going to do at one moment of time. In this video, I want us to talk about the new, what we call the job models that are being introduced in the UAE as a result of the 2022 new labor law in the UAE. These models are quite very uh, important for you to understand. Because if you go to the UAE and you're going on a freelancer visa, if you are going in the UAE or you're already in UAE, when I talk about UAE, I talk about the seven Emirates that make up the UAE. Dubai, Sharija, Abu Dhabi, Adman, and all other Emirates that make up the UAE for all those people that are there. If you're so lucky enough, you are still in, you're in, you're working in the UAE. These models are very good for you. You can try to decide and choose which kind of model, depending on which company you are working for and how, what is the agreement between what agreement are you making, contract are you making with your employer. And even those people that are planning to go to the UAE, you can still choose out what is best for you. People who are on a freelancer visa in the UAE, you can still choose out which kind of model that you are supposed to do or which model that fits well with what you have to do. Remember, each kind of model has its own what you call its own working permit. But before we look at the work permits themselves, let us look at the models themselves, which is quite very important. In my summary today, I'm going to give you the different types of models that are being introduced, the work models that are being introduced in the UAE under the U, under the new law, which was which came into effect on February 22nd. These models are going to try, try to, un, to make you understand clearly what you need to do, what you should do, what is best for you, and what will support you as you try to do other things in one way or the other. Hope people are in Dubai quite to understand or will know what I'm trying to talk about. Right? Okay, right. Let us try to go into the models. I try to read to you a bit of summary of the models I made and what has been talked about in the new UAE labor law. The new model jobs provide employers with flexibility to work on a project hourly basis for more than one employer, while enabling employees to enhance different talents and competence at a lower operation costs. The new the, new, the law enables employers to change the contracts from one job to another after an agreement with the employer ensuring that the entitlements of the first contract are made. You can change job from one employer to another employer, provided, provided this an agreement 
and an agreement. There is no breach of an agreement with the first contract of the first employer. That is very good of it all. One, the labor law, the law enables employers to change the contracts from one job to another after an agreement with the employer ensuring that entitlements of the first contract are not are met or are not breached in any way. Then two, employers can combine more than one job model as long as they do not work for more than 48 hours a week and 144 hours every week. Remember, if you're on a full contract, if you're working as a full contract as under the new law, you are not supposed to work more than 40 hours a week. Right? Because in between there for the full contracts, we have rest periods. We have different rest periods. Then, if you are working on a full time, employers can obtain part time. Employers can, uh, employees, no, I beg your pardon. Employees can obtain part time jobs without permission of their main employer, provided they do not exceed what you call the Schleith hold hours. The shall hold all hours we are talking about, so long as you do not exceed the 48 hours that is given. The working period is supposed to be for maximum 48 hours. So if you're on a full-time basis, you can still get a part-time job somewhere else. With the permission of your, your, your first employer, or without even his permission, but so long as you do not exceed 48 hours. Then if you're going to work what we call a remote work, remote work it may say you're working from home. If, for example, you're working from home, the scheme enables full-time and part-time employees to work completely or partially outside office. Remember, we had the new COVID coming in, COVID-19 pandemic. Most people began working from home, what we call remote work, began working from home. So this one has enhanced, and most people, would, companies would, would probably supervise people from home, man. I think this one is gradually it's, you can work from that area, whatever, part-time or full-time, whatever you are working from, so long as you agree with what you call your employer or depending on which kind of model. Then we have what we call shared job model. This is what we call splitting job responsibilities and pay among more than one employee based on the agreement with the employer. Remember, the employee cont contract under this model are governed by what you call part-time regulations. Yes, much as you are, you're going to do what you call part-time. There are regulations that money, there are going regulations that are going to manage what you call the part-time. So you also need to have that one in consideration and you need to know those uh, part-time regulations that govern you. And one of the part-time regulations that govern you, that the slide hold hours should not exceed what you call 48 hours of work. Then still, another model is that Full-time, working for one employer for a full work day. You can decide to, uh, to work for full-time, for full-time, and you're working for that one employee. Remember, if you're working for full-time for one employee, that means your working time or your working hours should not exceed more than 40 hours a week. 40 hours. And what means that every after five hours on a consecutive days, you must get one rest hour so if you are working for 12 hours of duty that means you'll get two consecutive rest hours per the new labor law contract then we have another one is called part-time working for one or more employers for a specified number of hours or days on what you call a schedule of work you can decide to work part-time but you are working for two different employers and this has to be on a scheduled, it can be on a scheduled day or it can be on a scheduled working hours. But remember, those shila hold hours or the maximum hours permitted should not go beyond 48 hours. That is as agreed or that is as stipulated in what you call the new labor law. Still, if you are going to work on what you call a temporary schedule or temporary model, can be a contract for a specified period of time on a project basis and it ends with the job completion. 
That is on a temporary basis. And remember, when we go to look at the permits, there is also what you call a temporary permit, whereby an employer is given a right to recruit people from outside the country that are going to work on a particular project for a specific period of time. And when that project is that project ends or that project commence or that project is finished, then that means even the job finishes for those hired people at that period of time. So if you are going to work on a temporary basis, it means that it's for a given contract that you're going to work for or project. Let's say you're constructing a given rentals in a given area or even look at what we have for the stadium. And after that project is completed, then probably you'll have to move on. That means even your job has got off, depending on what you really want at one moment of time. Then we we'll look at the last one is what you call flexible, flexible time or flexible, what you call flexible uh, model. It is time the employee's freedom to work at different time based on the conditions and requirements of the job. Remember, the contract covers hours, days and duty required. For the flexible, you may decide to work at different at different times, but this will also depend on the different or depends on the condition of the job that you are working on, which conditions you are working. So you can either decide to work in the morning or you can decide to work on Wednesdays, you can decide to work on the Fridays, or you can even decide to work from morning shift or afternoon shift, but it also uh, goes back to uh, and it goes back to what depending on what contract that you've signed with your employer. Hope I've tried to share up something for you, and those are the models for if you're going to do work in uh, Dubai or you're going to do work in Abu Dhabi or Sharija or any or any of the similar Emirates that make up the UAE, you probably need to be aware of this information. You need to be aware of this information as you're signing those contracts or as you try to proofread through the contracts that you're going to sign. You should make sure that all those models specify what exactly you're going to do. And you by yourself, you should know exactly what you're going to do. Hope I've tried to share up some a bit for you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in this channel and thank you so much for coming back to this channel. See you again in another video as we try to see to discuss more of this important information. It's Max from the Max Creation TV. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribing. Put a comment in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, like, share. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. See you again in the next video.